All right, let's take a tour through Chicago. We're going to go through the most dangerous areas. The Dirt Grandma House, 600 O Block, Front Street, Tay Town, 63rd and St. Louis. A quick tour of the most dangerous areas in Chicago on the south side. These are the areas that everybody talk about. Quick tour. O Block. There we go. O Block. Parkway Gardens. Sixty third in St. Louis, STL. All right, uh, welcome to the show. So today I'm gonna speak on a couple of topics that uh, you know that's been that's been on my mind. You know, it's, it's a couple of things that's been on my mind, and I'm just gonna speak right to it and get right into it. So the the first thing that's on my mind is that you know I be listening to people, we be having these different conversations and everything, and it always kills me when somebody say to me. Slavery couldn't be in these days because I wouldn't be a slave. They would have had to kill me if I'm a slave. Because I wouldn't have been a slave. I wouldn't have been picking no cotton. I be listening to it and I just, you know, I be shaking my head, you know. Listen, slavery is still going on now. If the police pull up on you right now, and arrest you whether you did it or not you going to jail and if they tell you they giving you 20 years 30 years you're going to be in jail being a slave so stop lying to yourself talking about if you was back in the day you wouldn't be a slave man you going to still be a slave because you can still be a slave right now when they arrest you and put you in there whether you did it or not so either you going to die right then and there when they try to arrest you or you're going to be in jail talking about what you could have, would have, should have did but slavery still going on right now when they put you in jail you got to work you got to be in there, ain't nothing you can do you got to work for 10 cents, 5 cents whatever they tell you to do, you're going to do it so you would have been a slave back then because you're going to be a slave right now, so wake up Second thing I want to talk about is, you know, I'm from I'm from the I'm from the shy, and uh, I I be hating to see everybody gang up against Kanye. Man, Kanye ain't never changed. When you from the shy, you gonna speak your mind. Everything you saying ain't gonna be right, but you gonna speak your mind because that's just the way we are. So. Let that man be. You know, let that man be. You know what I mean? Ain't, ain't no reason for us to gang up against him because y'all scared. He just wasn't prepared for when he started talking. But, you know, sometimes it be like that. So stop trying to gang on, gang up on somebody. You know what I mean? We got him if nobody don't get him. He from the shy. You know what I mean? So... We got them, you know, we got those geniuses that come from the shy and when we get involved with stuff. We usually make sure that we run it. Just stop ganging up on people because y'all scared. That's all I'm trying to say. If you scared, just don't say nothing. You don't have to gang up on nobody. Just go hide like you're supposed to do. Just go hide because you know you're scared. But don't gang up on somebody because you scared. You know, so I just want to just get those two right out the way. And then I want to just jump into the third third little subject. And that is, when you a man, you a man. You know what I mean? Simple as that. A man going to do what a man got to do to make sure he get it. You can have conversations with your girl, your wife. You love them for sure. But one thing about it, as a man, 
you gotta go out there and get it. Hey, you ain't no man if you still sitting in the house talking to your wife or your girl and bills gotta be paid and all type of other stuff gotta get done. You gotta 